Okay, so this is a Pro Tools centric Mac Mini video. It's really only going to apply to Pro Tools users interested in upgrading to uh, an M1 Mac, be it a Mini or a uh, Mac MacBook Pro, I suppose. It's January, February, March of 2021, and this video is not going to age well because it's a it's a very limited little sliver of time here that this is going to be a concern. But I figured I'd make this this thing anyway. I'll, I'll keep it quick. Um, but I was looking to upgrade my Pro Tools rig. I had I was about to pull the trigger on an Intel Mac Mini, um, but I'm looking at that M1, thinking, "Gosh, I just get the M1, right?" I think a lot of people right now are having that same question. So I'm going to answer it because I just got both, and I'm going to send one back. So let's do this. I've got a Pro Tools session here. It's 192 kilohertz, 24 bits. It's kind of a torture session. It's just kind of blown out. It's 96 voices, which is uh, the limit for uh, a native Pro Tools system. It's got a bunch of plugins and routing and edits and MIDI and whatever. I just sort of pushed a session about as far as I could get the Intel Mac to play back. And then we'll see how, if the M1, see how the M1 can do with it. And then I've also seen some videos where guys are using like the number of instances of a plugin to sort of benchmark performance and I figured let's do that too. So I've got another session called instances of shit <laughs> that, that we'll use. Um, so let's do this. Okay, so this is the M1 in my uh, instances of plugins test. So let's start with the magic death eye, which is a biggie. And they all open. And it looks as if my system usage is around, I call it 80. Here comes the capitator. Okay. Gonna call it 90%. So, uh, 80. 90, and then Berserk, which if I never had to say Berserk again, that'd be cool. Uh, I do like the plugin though. And that one, let's call that one 90 as well. And then the TG. Okay, and then so for the TG, the Waves TG1, I had to reduce that to 24 instances. So let me, let me save that like this. Okay, next. Okay, so here's my instances of shit session <clears throat> on the Intel Mac. So, uh, Magic Death Eye. That puts me at. I'm going to just call it 50%. This one. <clears throat> so Magic Death Eye, 50%. A little difference there, right? Um, let's look at another. It's Capitator. Hmm. The Capitator's not messing around. I'm going to call that. Call that 95%. That's weird. We'll go back and try that death eye again. Um, <clears throat> Berserk. Okay, and I'm, I'm, and I'm going into play to make sure that we're. Uh, I'm going to call this one 80, 82%. Interesting. And then our old friend TG, the waves TG. Yeah, see, it's all the way down at like six, seventy percent. So I think what we're going to learn is that uh, maybe the wave shell is struggling a little bit with the Rosetta translation. Um, I'm so far out of my depth there, <laughs> but uh, okay. 
Um, let's just try the magic death eye again because it seems strange to me. What's going on? Come on. Yeah, so that in play that's more like eighty percent. I don't I don't know what that was that first time. That's strange. Um <clears throat> okay, so pretty pretty similar findings there. Um let's go to the torture test. Okay, and then, uh, so we're on the M1, and this is my tor torture session. <clears throat> um, let's see if she'll play. Okay, it'll play. We've got... It's going in the red, <clears throat> the CPU usage, but it looks like it's upper 90s. It's just sort of barely getting by. Yeah, let's call it, let's call it 90. <clears throat> okay, so uh, Intel Mini, the torture test. I'm going to hit play. It is handling it totally fine. <clears throat> I'm going to say the total CPU usage here is averaging around 80. There's a 77, 79, 70, yeah, maybe even, let's call it 70, let's call it 78. Interesting. Let's keep looking. Okay, and then here on the M1, this is just a song called Habeas Corpus that I've got here on my drive. It's something I mixed a couple months ago uh, but it just opens I hadn't opened this before uh, this was obviously done on an Intel Mac no problems all my plugins came up you know it's, it's not the most complex mix in the world but uh, it all seems to work out just fine that's all I got really it's fine So there you have it. Uh, the M1 is in no way better than this modern Intel Mac Mini uh, within Pro Tools. <clears throat> and we knew that going in, right? Uh, it's an unsupported OS. The Mini's, uh, the M1's got to run, can only run Big Sur, and that's not yet supported by Pro Tools. Uh, there's also this Rosetta translation happening for the M1 chip because none of these softwares are written uh, for the chip yet. It's a bad setup going in. But I am sort of shocked uh, that it's not that much worse, funny enough, which obviously suggests that once we are all ported towards the M1 chip, we're going to be flying. So, you know, obviously draw your own conclusions. If you're looking to buy a Mac right now and you're up in the air over buying an M1 versus uh, this last Intel Mac <clears throat> because you're a Pro Tools user, I don't know what to tell you. For me, I'm going to stick with the M1. I'm just going to roll the dice. Uh, I don't know what that means exactly. I may have lots of problems next week with exporting QuickTime videos or, you know, I, ha I have some more testing to do basically before I probably actually send it back. But um, for this preliminary video, doesn't seem so bad. Doesn't seem like such a long shot, you know? So, uh, best of luck. Uh, hi, Tony. Did, did you want to make some records?